Hi folks and welcome back to Ramy Property Group. My name is Phil. Uh, today on the channel we're going to be talking in more depth about the fundamentals of our emergency housing passive income investment scheme. Um, first and foremost, uh, just a quick quote for you. A bit cheesy but it was Warren Buffett, the world, one of the world's best investors, that actually said find a way to earn money while you sleep or you could end up working until you die. And it's nothing more prevalent than that than over the last two years with COVID-19 uh, that has seen uh, people looking at multiple streams of income. Um, we've seen crypto blow up, Forex blow up, and certainly property has been at their peak of demand for a long, long time. Um, so how, can you, how does this scheme operate? Uh, so first and foremost, emergency housing. Emergency housing is the provision of temporary accommodation to people who are uh, otherwise uh, without a roof over their head. That is the fundamental. The local authorities in the UK, along with central government, have a duty of care and a responsibility to ensure that people are housed comfortably. Um, it's one of the highest principles on the Maslow scale uh, of, of requirements, and therefore it is a fundamental right of everybody in the UK to have this as a, as a, as a, as a basic necessity. Um, so the central government have the Homeless Reduction Act and the local authorities actually have their own schemes in place to ensure that people are granted social housing and or while they're on the waiting list, temporary or emergency accommodation. So there's the fundamental difference. Temporary emergency accommodation should be short term while they find them social housing. However, just one of our local authorities has 73,000 people currently on the, on the um, social housing waiting list. So the need for temporary on-door emergency accommodation has never been greater. Um, so the fundamentals, how does it operate? Um, we were asked a question in the week about, um, you know, the, 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 the few years ago, there was programs about uh, the provision of by landlords to local authorities of sub-quality accommodation um, um, that people were living in. And to be fair, there are still some you know some 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 horror shows knocking about you see them on these um uh uh you know documentary type programs that that, that that show housing which is substandard however these things have changed and there is a more a better standard now um before landlords could just ping them a property local authorities would just lease it that was that was it you know in today's world the local authority set the rates so the first thing we do is we now source to order we don't uh, anymore just ping them any, uh, any properties. I never did that anyway. I was not involved at that time, but we now source to order. So the local authority set the rates. We go away and we find a property uh, that suits those rates. Now, that's not easy. And why it's not easy is we find about one to two in every 15 to 16 properties actually have the favorable mortgage conditions required to lease a property for the purposes of temporary or emergency accommodation slash social housing. Um, so most buy to let mortgages don't allow this provision. So it is a big challenge for us to find those properties. Uh, secondly, um, once we source the properties, and this is one of the fundamental reasons why we now exist, um, the local authority take control of the property, uh, they enter the property and they upgrade the property to the minimum standards required for people to live comfortably. And that is the change that's been due to the rightly highlighting by these documentaries about um, the substandard living in some, in some, in some provided accommodation. So the, the, the local authorities now have property maintenance and management teams that enter the property before people are due to live in. Okay, so uh, how does it work then from a fundamental basis from you to us. So the property sourcing costs um, are covered in the fees that we charge you. You know, they, they is a two in every, one to two in every 15, 16 properties actually have the mortgage conditions. It's a lot of work that goes into that, that to let, you know, landlords down or whatever that don't have the necessary uh, conditions that we require. Uh, and uh, we have to take control of the property in month one. It's not tenanted in that time frame by the local authority and therefore we have to cover the first month's rent and uh, because of a council, council's lease the properties on a business basis um, there's no deposits um, uh, so we have to we have to fund the deposit to secure the property from the landlord um, so that's it that's the fundamentals that's what the money is used for uh, how you get your returns is again is very very simple uh, we take a lease for a period of time whether it's two 
two and a half or three years. Uh, and uh, your uh, investment period will match the lease period. Um, so we will if so the top deal that we have to double your money I can't talk about specific interest rates on this video but please get in touch if you want to know more um, will double your money over a three year period so you invest amount X and you get amount Y which is double the amount of your original investment uh, the margin that we chart the margin in the middle from the rates that the council offers to the landlords payments are where this comes from uh, and uh, it, 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 we only take properties that are healthy enough for us to make the profit level that we need to make and for you to get the returns promised. Um, and that's it. That's the fundamentals of emergency housing. Um, so passive income, doing some good, easy to understand uh, and, and, and an all around good scheme. Um, so if you want to get in touch to know more, uh, feel free to contact me in any of the below information. Uh, you can direct message the social media page that you're on or just comment on the video and I'll get around to as many comments as you can. Uh, I hope that's been helpful and useful. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. You take care and have a great day. Bye for now.